Hello everyone, welcome again to Mike's SAS Tutorials. This is Lesson 6, and I'm going to be talking to you today about SAS arithmetic and variable creation. This will be a relatively short lesson. It's going to be uh, probably the shortest amount of code I've ever presented, um, but it should be pretty simple and straightforward. I'm going to start out by creating a data set called data main and making two variables, x and y. And let's just give them some values, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What I've done here is create a data set with two variables, 1, 2, 3, 4 observations, and the values for those variables as listed. Now let's say we want to add those two variables to create a third variable, uh, z, in a new data set. So what we can do is create a new data set, we'll call it new main, and we're going to set in our old data set, and if you're not familiar with the set statement, you can check out, I think it's lesson 4, in which we talk about how to import data sets. And let's say we want to create this new variable now, z, that's just simply, actually let's call it a, that's the summation of x and y. All we have to do is use this plus sign like you would see in any calculation, um, and we call this the addition operator. Anytime we have a kind of symbol between variables that is going to do something like a function would, we'll call them an operator. So this is the addition operator. If we wanted to create a new variable b that was the difference between x and y, we would use the subtraction operator. And similarly, we can use a multiplication operator, a division operator, oops, and we can use a uh, exponent operator, which is simply two asterisks right next to each other. And this would say that we want to take x and raise it to the power of y. Now notice here what I'm doing is just writing it out formulaically and ending it with the semicolon just like a statement. And what SAS is going to do when it reads this is going to say that I want to create a new variable and we're going to call it A, setting it equal to the sum in this case of x and y or the difference of x and y or the product of x and y and so forth. Now you're not limited to doing it in uh, one step like this, you, or in several steps like this. You could create a new uh, equation of sorts using multiple operators and it would follow the uh, order of operations just like in algebra. So we can say, let's take the sum of x and y and multiply it by the difference of x and y. And we're going to use our parentheses and let's just run all of that. To see what the data would have looked like before we had uh, done anything with new variables, I can print out the first data set, or data main. This is the original data set. So let me select all of this code and run it. And you can see here that there were four observations, two variables x and y, and here are all the values for them. Now when I run this new data set, new main, and set the old one in it and create all of these variables, it's now going to have not just the original two variables, but now three, four, five, six, seven, eight variables in total. I can confirm that using the contents procedure. and noting that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 variables. You can also look up top here in the uh, beginning kind of blurb. It's going to say there's 8 variables with 4 observations. Now one thing I'm going to introduce in this lesson is kind of like a side note, but you can see here there's this number column that lists the order that the, the variables were created in. If you remember, we created x first and y second, but all of this is out of order, and the reason is because right now it's sorting it as an alphabetical list. This makes a lot more sense when you have variables that aren't specified, or that are specified, that have different names, and you want to search out a specific variable name. However, if you want to see it in order of the variable creation, you can type in this var num option on the proc statement, just before the semicolon there. Oops. When you do this var num, what's going to happen is it's going to order it, uh, sort it in the creation order. So now we can see that there are 
sort it in this order, 1, 2, 3, 4, all through 8, and the variables as they were created, x, y, and then a through f. Now, of course, this lesson is completely about how to use these operators, so let me uh, print out new main and show you what we've done. Alright, so here are our original two variables, x and y, and we can see when we add them up, we get this 3 for the a, and 7, 11, and 15, and so forth. Uh, when we subtract them, we get negative 1s. When we multiply them, we get all the values here. Divide them. What did I do here? I raise it to the power, and then here's that kind of like function. So you can see that the arithmetic is pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and uh, not very difficult part. So those are pretty much the uh, operators you've got. The addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, raising it to the exponent of, and then using parentheses to sort it all out using your order for operations from mathematics. So uh, tune in next time.